Thank you. That's incredible. Uh, <laughs> You seen that show? That's, they're doing all these shows since we did Real People. They got That's Incredible, Those Amazing Animals. Wouldn't you like to have a show called Those Annoying Neighbors? <laughs> I want to do a show called That's Repulsive. <laughs> That'd be eight millimeter film of Howard Cosell at a nude beach. Wouldn't that be repulsive? <laughs> I was born and raised in Nebraska, spent 19 years in Nebraska, never heard the word marijuana. You can believe that or not, never heard the word marijuana. First time I heard about it, I was in Colorado, and the first time I ever saw any, I was in California. Then I found out it's all growing in Nebraska. <laughs> We didn't know that back on the farm, but I think the animals knew about it. Yeah, the animals used to wander in acting real funny, and the old farmers would always say the same thing. They've been spooked. <laughs> well, those animals weren't always spooked. Sometimes they've been out in the North Port eating up all the wild grass, you know? I had a horse walk up to me one time in a pair of dark glasses. Wanted to know if everything was cool. <laughs> we started dating again. That's a procedure. How many people are on dates here today? Anybody on an actual date? Nobody? Good. Then we all have a shot at it. <laughs> That's good. Cost money to date, man. I bet there's not a girl here sitting right here today that when you go out on a date at night, I bet there's not a girl here that knows exactly when the night's over exactly how much the guy you're with spent on you that night. But I'll guarantee you something, girls. Every guy knows exactly how much he spent, man. And if it's over $10, he's going in the apartment with you later, too. Believe me. <laughs> hey, I spent $12.50. Let me in there. Come on, $12.50. I'll just use your bathroom. Let me in. <laughs> People think if you're on a television show that you make a lot of money. Not everybody on television is Chuck Barris. And real people, we make real money. Real low money, too, is what it is. Hear my agent laughing. And <laughs> yeah, we do. I, I took a girl out the other night. I don't know what they expect from you when you... Things have changed since from, the, you know, the nightclubs to the television. I was taking this girl out for the first time. I don't know what she expected. We're walking out of her apartment, coming out in the street, and she says, what are we going to do tonight? And I said, well, I thought we'd do this. And then I started telling her. Right away, man, she turned off, got real cold and weird. There's something wrong here. Something not right. Now, catch this. We're on the way to the restaurant now. Now we're on the way, going down the street. We're on the way to the restaurant. Now she started griping about this whole thing, man. She's getting embarrassing. It's getting loud. People on the bus were turning around, staring. I was embarrassed. <laughs> yeah? You ever been in a situation like that? I said, don't you know how to act on a bus? I'm going to pull this cord and get off here in a minute. <laughs> well, and then we get to the restaurant. She's got the menu. I said, what will you have? She said, I guess I'll have the steak and lobster. I said, really? Well, guess again. <laughs> Why don't you read down a little further? It's kind of a moldable choice. <laughs> I went to Catholic school. That's part of my uh, background. Anybody besides me go to Catholic school here? Huh? Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah, I couldn't get a date with a cheerleader. Of course, if you were a cheerleader in a Catholic high school, you had to be a pretty good speller, man. You couldn't be some dummy. You had to know how to spell pretty good, you know? Public schools were easy to spell back in the Midwest. We only had five, East High, West High, North, South, and Central. Remember those? Not too original, but they kept you located. But they're all easy to spell. Like the girls at East High School had it easy. They just come out there and go E A F T East. I mean, you'd have to be pretty dumb not to be able to remember that, you know. <laughs> but when you're from Immaculate Conception, <laughs> man, that's a whole different ball game. But then it becomes a spelling bee, you know. I used to feel sorry for our girls. Remember our cheerleaders out there on the sidelines? I used to feel sorry for them. Give me an I, give me an M, give me an M, give me an A, give me a C, give me a U, give me an L, give me an A, give me a D, give me an E. Give me a C, give me an O, give me an N, give me a C, give me an E, give me a P, give me a T, give me an I, give me an O, give me an N. Immaculate concept. The game's over. Thank you.